Hello, and welcome to Ryerson University. My name is Steven, and I want to first congratulate all of you on choosing Ryerson Engineering to be your home for the next chapter of your career. Ready, the Ryerson Engineering Digital Initiative was designed to bring our community closer to you. With the best resources and content available, the Ready team has put together videos, modules, and events, all designed for a uniquely Ryerson experience. Together with our community partners, we have gathered the most up-to-date information on everything, from extracurriculars, academic support, and even technical guidance. We have ensured that Ready is accessible for everyone, so feel free to explore it on your mobile device or your personal computer. If you need any assistance, please visit our Contact Us page, and a team member will get back to you very shortly. Ryerson Engineering has a special place in the heart of Toronto. Located in the most multicultural city in the world and home to over 4,500 unique engineering students, we truly are one of a kind. During each module, you get a sneak peek at our campus, and together, we're going to explore some key locations and meet amazing people along the way. Our community is also going to be showcased through blog posts, Q&A sessions, and events, all here, available on Ready. With so much for you to explore, now it's time for you to navigate Ready. Watch our handcrafted videos, take part in our events, and scroll through our interactive modules. There truly is something for everyone. So go on and explore your new home. Hello everyone, congratulations on being accepted into Ryerson Engineering. My name is Iris and I'll be taking you through the academics module today. This module aims to teach you about university courses as well as how to excel in courses at the university level. Courses in university are structured differently than those in high school. To start off, every course you will take has a course management form, which is an outline for everything that you will do in the course. This includes a mark breakdown for your labs and tutorials, the concepts that you will learn in the course, as well as when you will learn them in the form of a class schedule. Additionally, your professor's contact information will also be provided, such as their phone number, email, and office location, the prerequisite courses required to take the course, and any textbooks that are required. Also, be respectful of your fellow students and professor by being respectful in the meeting room chat. The professor does check the chat for questions, so they might find it difficult to follow along if you are having a conversation with your friend. Although lectures teach you all the concepts in class, if you are struggling, you can attend your professor's office hours. As the name implies, these are hosted in your professor's office. However, online courses typically offer office hours over Zoom. This is not only an excellent method for content clarification, but it's also a great opportunity to learn about your professor's careers, network with them, and also, if they like you, you might even get access to their research labs. In your first semester, you will also have additional exercises that will be mandatory. These are web assigned for PCS 211, Mechanics, which is your physics course, and Mastering Chemistry for CHY 102, which is the introductory chemistry course. You will need to purchase these softwares as they make up a portion of your grades. We recommend purchasing multi-term web assign as you will also need it for PCS 125, Weights and Fields. Engineering isn't only about reading, writing, and calculations. We also have practical components. Most courses will have labs or tutorials. Labs are like experiments, which aim for you to apply concepts that you've already learned in class, except shift them towards real-world applications. Most labs will require you to complete a lab quiz or a lab report. You will have labs for all of your courses in first semester. On the other hand, tutorials are like problem-solving sessions for which you have already learned the concepts for in class. These are typically run by a TA that has already taken the course. Expect similar questions to come up on your tutorial quizzes and even on your midterm and final exams, so make sure to pay attention and ask questions if you are struggling. REST also offers academic tutorials. The difference between your course tutorials and REST tutorials is that REST tutorials solely aim to help prepare you for your midterms and finals by redoing previous papers. These can be your best preparation for the exam or the best reassurance that you're ready. Good luck! After hearing about all these different kinds of assessments, you might be wondering how GPA, or grade point average, works at Ryerson University. We use a 4.33 scale, which is similar to a regular 4.0 scale. And here is the mark breakdown. You will encounter many types of GPA at Ryerson. Term GPA, or TGPA, is the GPA for all the classes that you have taken in a specific term. PGPA is Program GPA, and that is the GPA for your program courses, excluding liberals. Lastly, CGPA, or Cumulative GPA, 
is the most common GPA that you will encounter and that is what appears on your transcript. If you have a GPA of 3.5 or higher for both semesters, then you will be placed on the Dean's List for Academic Excellence. However, if you have a GPA of 1.67 or lower, then you will be placed on academic probation. Don't worry, Ryerson has many resources to help clear your status. If you are struggling in your courses and feel compelled to cheat or plagiarize, please think twice. It is important to withhold academic integrity during your entire time here at Ryerson. As outlined in Policy 60, the consequences for academic misconduct can be very severe and can include failing a course, revoked access to many services provided by the university, an ability to be on the Dean's List, and even expulsion. If you are struggling in completing any of your courses, don't worry, Ryerson offers a transition program that prevents you from losing a year. All fall semester courses, except for CEN 100, are offered in the winter semester, and all winter semester courses are offered in the spring semester. Keep in mind that the spring semester is accelerated, so you will complete all your courses twice as fast as the winter or fall semesters. Ryerson provides you with an academic calendar with information for finishing your degree in four years. However, many students choose to take additional years in order to complete the course to the best of their ability during their own time. If you wish to complete your degree during the required time and take a reduced course load, then you might want to look at the Engineering Transition Program for upper years. Although not all courses are offered, Ryerson does provide you with plenty of courses for you to accelerate in your program. In your first year, you do not need to worry about enrolling into all of your courses. However, if you wish to make adjustments, you may do so. Our faculty will automatically enroll all first-year students by doing their course intentions for them. Course intentions are like saving your seat in a class. Students can go on RAMs and select their schedules while making sure that there are no scheduling conflicts. Starting second year, you will have to complete all of your course intentions yourself. However, don't worry, you will be reminded. All courses cost money. However, some have double the cost of others. For example, COE 328, which electrical and computer engineering students take. The reason is because the cost of the course is due to the number of billing units. Most courses have one, but some may have two or even three. Billing units are dependent on the number of class hours per week that the course has. Your tuition is dependent on the number of these billing units, and note that it scales linearly. It's important to note that five to seven billing units have the same price. So, five billing units, or five courses, have the same price as seven billing units, or seven courses. We suggest you keep this in mind for planning your personal finances. Ryerson offers many resources to help you with your academics. These include the First Year Engineering Office, or FYAO, your department, and Russ's very own VP Academic. Russ, as well as your own student course unions, offer exam banks. The First Year Engineering Office offers study halls hosted by professors teaching the course, as well as dedicated schedules reminding you for when your midterms and final exams are, as well as due dates for your assignments. There are also many websites that can help you that are not affiliated with Ryerson. Here are some fan favorites. This may be a lot of information to take in, but don't worry. You are just starting university and you will have support every step of the way. You will have a maximum of eight years to complete your degree, so you do not need to hurry. You can take some time off school, complete an internship, or maybe even think about doing a minor. One thing to note is that academics are only one part of your university experience. You do not live to study. It's important to find a balance between schoolwork and personal life. Fortunately, there are many ways that you can get involved at Ryerson. You can go to attend to various activities, join student societies, and much more, but that's for another video. Is this recording? Okay, okay. Hey, listen. If you want a good university experience and a really quick summary to this video, join student groups. You won't regret it. But if you want a really convincing reason why, then you're going to want to watch the rest of this video. Hello, hello everyone, my name is Minna and welcome to the student group module. Let me start off by telling you all why it's important to join a student group and how it can benefit you. By joining a student group, you can, one, learn more about yourself and grow as a person, two, have something to look forward to. It's a break from studying and all that academic stuff. Three, Student groups are the backbone of our community. Join them to be involved. Four, make new friends. Five, grow your network, 
gain leadership skills, time management skills, teamwork skills, grow your resume. Recruiters love extracurricular activities and finally make long lasting memories. Here at Right Edge, we have over 50 student groups, including 15 design teams and six course units. There is something out there for each and every one of you. So what are you waiting for? Some student groups require roles with small time commitments and others that require more, all depending on how much time you are able to give. Now, outside of the engineering community, there's even more student groups to get involved with, ranging from academic to cultural to religious services and so much more. More information for all the student groups is easy to find by simply clicking directory on the Ready or REST websites. I recommend reaching out to all the student groups you're interested in in order to find out more. If you aren't convinced enough to get involved, then I think you should hear from some of your favorite minutes. Let's give them a call. Hey girls, how's it going? <sighs> I'm studying, what do you want? I just wanted to ask you all a quick question. Which type of Rye End student group would you recommend? That's easy. Obviously a design team. No way. You should join a chapter. Nah. Interest groups is where it's at. Come on, Minna 4. We all know course unions are the most fun. Alright, thanks for the advice. Talk to you soon. Next, we have design teams. With a stronger focus on technical skills, design teams are where you can put your practical skills on display. They are a great way to get hands-on experience on different projects, whether it be building a formula car or creating a Hyperloop pod. So if you want to participate in exciting competitions across Canada or even the world and make long-lasting partnerships, do consider joining a design team. Finally, we have course unions, which are each focused on representing the eight disciplines here in Right Edge. The six course unions are ACU for Aerospace, BEC U for Biomed, RICEM U for Chemical, RSCE for Civil, RECESS for, for both Electrical and Computer, and MEC U for Mechanical and Industrial. Most course union positions are available through an election process at the end of each winter semester, but they will always be looking for first year students at the beginning of the fall semester to act as first year representatives. Applying to these positions is a great way to get started. You should definitely check them out. All the student groups bring something unique to the table, but don't take my word for it. Just let these achievements speak for themselves. The Ryerson Engineering Concrete Toboggan team has placed first overall in the Great Toboggan Competition. Ryerson Rams Robotics R3 placed second in the world in their annual competition. Finally, Ryerson Hyperloop placed in the top 10% globally in their competition. Right End continues to expand year after year with the addition of even more groups, chapters, and design teams. Every group has accomplished so much since they have started, and by joining them, you can help the momentum keep growing and growing. One point that I really want to emphasize is that your university experience goes by quicker than you think. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone Use the vast opportunities that these groups offer to grow yourself and give back to the Right Edge community and make long-lasting friendships and memories. The years you will spend at Right Edge will fly by and you should do the best to make them worthwhile. Whether you want to join a course union, design team, chapter organization, or even make your own student group, Ready or Rest will give you all the information you need for your journey. Good luck. and welcome to the Community Module, where you will learn about the different groups and services available that make Ryerson a safe and welcoming place. My name is Aaliyah, and I will be guiding you through this module alongside my colleagues, Phil and Griffin. By now, you should have some understanding of the various student groups, chapter organizations, and design teams that are affiliated with RES. However, I want to highlight some key student groups that make sure Ryerson is a safe and welcoming place for all. The first group we'll be talking about is ENGO, the LGBT QA plus engineering group. NGO focuses on social connections, professional development, and making sure that the community is amazing for all engineering students. This is all achieved through de-stressors, networking events, and by sending students to LGBT QA plus specific conferences. Additionally, NGO communicates with both FIAS and RES about LGBT QA plus specific issues. 
NJOT also organizes charity events and hosts networking events where students can connect with industry professionals from various companies. What is even more exciting is that NJOT marches in the Toronto Pride Parade alongside engineering students from all across Canada. Ryerson engineering students are invited to be a part of NJOT and their team can't wait to meet you at future events. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and on Facebook. At Ryerson, we also have a chapter for the National Society of Black Engineers, also known as NSBE. They focus on improving the life for students of Black or African descent. Originally founded at Purdue University, their mission is to help students succeed both academically and professionally, while positively impacting the community. The Ryerson chapter in particular hosts networking events such as industry nights, as well as sends students to conferences dedicated to advocating for diversity in engineering. Check out their social media handles to keep up with their updates. Last but not least, Ryerson Women in Engineering seeks to help the community by supporting all female identifying members. They aim to develop social and professional networks, improve academic performance, and prepare for industry success. Ryerson Women in Engineering achieves this by providing mentorship programs, professional development events, as well as technical workshops. They also participate in outreach initiatives to encourage high school students to pursue engineering as their post-secondary education. They plan to recruit first-year representatives for their team this upcoming year. Be sure to check out their social media to find out more about their team and to learn more about the cool events they plan to host this year. Ryange has so many incredible groups, but it doesn't stop there. Our diverse campus is full of opportunities around every corner. Hey there, I'm Phil, and I'll be talking about the Office of the Vice President Equity and Community Inclusion, as well as Ryerson's campus security team, both of which strive for accessibility, inclusivity, and safety on our campus. As part of Ryerson's inclusivity mission, the OVP ECI, or the Equity Office, provides special projects and research, education and awareness programs, Indigenous initiatives, and the Student Diversity Self-ID Survey. If you're comfortable, we highly recommend filling out this survey as it will help us to cater our mission to our ever-changing community. Representing students, faculty, and staff, the Equity Office has undertaken a huge mission called Access Ryerson. Access Ryerson aims to tear down all barriers that face students and anyone else who visits our campus and ensure accessibility and equity for all. If your needs are ever not met by the services REST provides, feel free to reach out. It's our mission as well to ensure you feel included and welcomed. Around campus, you'll see blue emergency poles. These can be used to quickly contact Ryerson Security at any time, 24-7. Whether it's a little thing, like you're locked out of your office, or a big thing, like a safe trip home, they can be there for you at any time. You can call them using this number, or on any campus phones, dial 5040. They're trained in conflict de-escalation, first aid, and self-defense. Remember though, if you're ever in an emergency, call 911 first. Ryerson Security provides the Walk Safe program. This means they'll provide someone to help you move around campus or nearby locations safely. This includes all campus buildings, parking lots, and the nearby subway stations, Dundas, and College. You can contact them by phone or using their email, walksafe at ryerson.ca. They'll be happy to walk safe with you. In their mission to keep the community informed, Ryerson sends out security incident emails and updates the Ryerson Safe app regularly. As they say, an informed community is a safer community. You'll receive all of these updates through your email, campus signage, and the Ryerson Safe app. But remember, if you're ever in an emergency, call 911. In most rooms and beside all campus phones, you'll find a poster that will help you to describe your location to first responders. No matter the problem, big or small, both of these services are here to represent you and they are only a small fraction of all the groups we have here at Ryerson. Hey everyone, my name's Griffin. As you've seen, creating a sense of home at Ryerson is one of our main goals, and that goal transcends to the provincial and national level. 
At the provincial level, Ryerson's a member of the Engineering Student Society's Council of Ontario, or ESCO. And at the national level, we're a member of the Canadian Federation for Engineering Students, or CFES. CFES and ESCO are two sides of the same coin, both providing a platform for REST to come together and discuss issues that affect engineering students, not only at Ryerson, but across all of Canada. As a member of both CFES and ESCO, Ryerson has the ability to debate and discuss problems with them during their meetings that they hold every single year. A main focus of CFES and ESCO is advocacy. They meet with and discuss issues with bodies that have an effect on students both during their studies and after they've graduated. These bodies can be anything from the Engineering Deans of Ontario, EDO, to Engineers Canada, to our governments, and more. On top of all of that, there are countless leadership opportunities for engineering students, both on CFES and ESCO's councils and in their specialized working teams. Their teams can be anything from research-focused, slow-paced working groups that provide well-studied change to big issues that affect all of us, to fast-paced task forces that provide solutions to problems as they happen, to any other group that wants to make a change within engineering. Head over to their social media, our social media, and keep an eye on your email to know when these amazing opportunities become available. Now, our partners aren't all about planning and advocacy. They also host a number of professional conferences every single year. CFES hosts five major conferences every year, one of them being the Canadian Engineering Leadership Conference, or CELT for short. It's one of their largest conferences and has a major focus on leadership development and, of course, networking with both industry partners and other students from across Canada. Other conferences that they run focus on other things, like the Conference on Sustainability in Engineering, CSE, the Conference on Diversity in Engineering, CDE, and of course, their President's Meeting, which helps our VP External and President get ready for the coming year's worth of challenges. Similarly, ESCO hosts a number of conferences every year as well. If you're in first year, I cannot recommend enough the First Year Integration Conference, FYIC. It's an incredible place to gain insight into what the engineering field can do for you, both during your studies and after you graduate. ESCO also hosts a number of other conferences, such as the Professional Engineers of Ontario Student Conference, PEOSC, their annual general meeting, AGM, and of course, ESCO's own President's Meeting. Every year, Ryerson hosts REC, the Ryerson Engineering Competition, in a spirit of camaraderie and, of course, competition. It helps qualify students from Ryerson for the Ontario Engineering Competition hosted by ESCO. And if you win at OEC, you then can go on to the Canadian Engineering Competition where you can compete against students from across the entirety of Canada. It's an incredible experience. Watch your emails for REC signups so that you can take part in one of these incredible competitions. Now you know enough to take part in engineering beyond Ryerson, and I cannot encourage you enough to do so. It's an incredible experience, full of incredible people and even more incredible opportunities. All of this information and more is available on the Ready website, but if you want to get involved right now, reach out to vpx at rest.ca where your Vice President External will be happy to get you involved. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm going to show you the heart of interacting and managing your courses here at Ryerson. To begin, let's head over to my.ryerson.ca. Log in with your username and password, and if you have two-step verification on, use the unique six-digit code. The first thing I want to highlight is the awesome discounts you can get just by being a Ryerson student. You can see it down here on Dell and Apple Store. Now, let's cut to the chase, dealing with online course content. Ryerson faculty use D2L to post announcements, course content, and your grades. To get started, let's head over to D2L. Click on your courses in D2L Brightspace under Online Courses and Organizations. Once you're there, you can see your courses listed out in a grid format. Click on any one of them to see the content. The first thing you see are the announcements, with the latest at the top. If we scroll down just a little, on the right-hand side we see the calendar, where the professor might post important upcoming events, or miss the discussion points. To see the course content, click on Content on the top menu bar. Here you can see the course material listed out under different sections. Click on any one of them and you can see the material within. 
Also, if you need to download any of the content, just click on download and you can save it to your computer. On the top menu bar, you can see a number of options. If we head over to communications, we can see discussions, where your professor might post a discussion board. Under the assessment tab, you can see your grades, your progress, and your assignments. If you head over to the assignments, you can see your midterm exam, final, or any other assignment that you might have. Click on any one of them, and you can submit a file through add a file. There's so much more to discover on D2L, so take your time and explore it on your own. One last thing, bookmark the D2L page, as it will be your daily driver. Your Ryerson account is linked to Google, but to use services such as Docs, Gmail, and Drive, you must first activate a token. To do this, head over to my.ryerson.ca, log in with your username and password, and go to the Apps section on the top. If we scroll down just a little, we see a part called Activate Google Token. Click on it and follow the prompts to activate it. This is a one-time procedure and does not have to be repeated. Once you're done, all your services have been activated. Your class schedule is synced with Google Calendar, so to view it, you can just click on Google Calendar and you can see your schedule. Remember, Google services are your best friend. They allow you to collaborate simultaneously on documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. Your Rise in Google Drive has unlimited storage for all your academic needs. A quick way to access these services is by using shortcuts. For example, gmail.ryerson.ca for your mail, calendar.ryerson.ca for your schedule, and drive.ryerson.ca for your Google Drive. Hi guys, my name is Maya, and I'm going to show you one of the most important tools you'll need during your time at Ryerson. The Ryerson Administrative Management Self-Service, more commonly known as RAMS, will be your one-stop shop for everything, from checking your finances, to enrolling in classes, and most importantly, checking your grades. If D2L was the heart of the operation, RAMS would be the brains. You're going to start off on my.ryerson and log in with your Ryerson username and password. Once you're logged in, click on the RAMS tab. Make sure to have your pop-ups enabled. Once the pop-up loads, you'll see a range of different options you can choose from. Let's quickly hop into academics. The first thing you can see is your major. You'll want to make sure that this information is correct, especially if you decide to switch your program after your first semester. On the left is the menu, where you can view everything related to your academics at Ryerson. You'll probably spend a lot of time in grades and standing, so let's hop in there. All you have to do now is pick which semester you'd like to view your grades for. For example, if it's the spring and summer, we can click it. And there you go, something to show off to your parents. The one thing you always want to check in your academic standing is that it's clear. A clear academic standing means you have a cumulative GPA, CGPA, above 1.67. Let's head back to the student homepage and see how we can enroll in our classes. Click on Manage Classes and select the semester you want to work on. The first thing you'll see are the significant dates you'll need for enrolling into classes. When you have access to your schedule, you can start adding sections to your cart. Now, right under View My Enrollment Dates is the Visual Schedule Builder, or VSB. This is helpful as it shows what sections of the class you're enrolled in. You'll get to see how the week would look in hourly increments per day, and also get the opportunity to try different sections, or props, while making your desired schedule. If a schedule doesn't appear, this means the classes overlap, so try different sections. If you want to keep certain classes where they are, you can pin them by clicking them while shifting other classes to get the schedule you want. Write all the sections that work down and also have a backup just in case the section gets filled. I wouldn't recommend enrolling in your classes through VSB though, because when enrollment opens up, the program tends to freeze, which doesn't end up well. Instead, to start adding classes to your schedule, all you have to do is click on shopping cart. and then click search. Let's say you want to enroll in Calculus 1, MTH 140. We'll put the first part in subject, so MTH, and then the course number after that, 140. And then just click search. 
Try to find the sections you wrote down earlier and add them all to your cut. Make sure you have a backup just in case. Finally, during open enrollment, select all your first choice sections and click enroll to secure a spot. Click on finish enrolling, make sure the process was successful, and congratulations, you've officially enrolled in your course. Zoom. If you don't know how to use this tool, get ready to learn, as it will be a critical component to your online learning. To start, I highly recommend downloading the Zoom app for your PC or Mac. To do this, let's head over to zoom.us slash download. Click on download and install the app on your PC or Mac. Open it and select sign in. Then select sign in with SSO and enter Ryerson for your company domain. You will then be prompted to log in with your Ryerson credentials. Once you're logged in, click allow and open Zoom. Boom, you're signed in. With your student license, you can schedule a meeting with one other person for an unlimited amount of time or with multiple people for up to 40 minutes. If your group requires more time, consider using Google Meet instead. Now, to schedule a meeting, you can just select Schedule, change the setting to your liking, and select Schedule, and you're all done. During your project meeting, you may want to show your group what you're working on. To do so, click on Share Screen and select which window you want to share. You will then see a menu in the top bar. You can change the setting here. Once you're done, you can just select Stop Share and it will stop sharing. You can enter a Zoom meeting through two different ways. The first way is using the meeting ID. To do so, select Join and enter the meeting ID provided to you by the host. Don't worry about having this handy, as the host will probably send it to you before the meeting starts. The other way to join a meeting is through the Ryerson calendar. So let's head over to my calendar where we can see a meeting. If I select an event and head over to the Zoom link and click it, I will then be prompted to open Zoom. Open it and the meeting will start. To join a meeting, remember to always select join with computer audio so that you can hear the other person. If you're not comfortable with having your camera on, simply leave it off. If you have a question you want to ask the speaker but don't want to interrupt them, open up the chat box and start typing away. Oftentimes, other students will answer the question, so I find it useful to have the chat box open during lecture times. Congratulations, you're now a Zoom Pro! The Rice University Library and Archives, RULO, or just the library, will become your best friend during your time at Ryerson. There are plenty of resources available to you both online and in person through RULA and the library building. Let's start exploring by going to library.ryerson.ca. We can begin by booking study spaces, one of my favorite things to do. Ryerson has collaborative study spaces located in the library building as well as the SLC that you can book right through RULA. To access this, scroll down and click on study rooms under where it says available now. Click on the bright orange book now button and all that's left is to pick a date and a room and a time and you're all set. Once you're done, you'll get a confirmation email sent to your Ryerson email address so you don't forget about your booked room. Remember that you can only reserve a maximum of two hours a day and up to eight hours a week. So book wisely or have friends book for you if you require more time in a room. This can also be done through the Ryerson app, Ryerson University Mobile. Rula will also be a great resource to use when you're tasked with writing reports and researching for projects. Let's head back to the main page by clicking the Ryerson University logo. For example, imagine you're writing a report on green energy and need to find credible research. All you need to do is type green energy and hit enter. We'll get search results for books, digital media, scholarly articles, and much more. As you can see, this search gave over 8 million results. As you can see on the left, we can use filters to narrow down our search to find exactly what we're looking for. For instance, we can narrow by discipline and publication date. If you need help with researching for your report, you can have a librarian assist you in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Let's head back to the main page again to see how we can set that up. Scroll down to book a librarian. 
and click it. From there, select your appropriate year, pick the best date for you, and follow the process. Ruler also helps loan out laptops if you need. All you need to do is head over to the library help desk, provide them with your student ID, and ask them for a laptop to loan out. Make sure you go ahead and explore all the amazing resources available through Ruler, as this will definitely help you out significantly while studying. Welcome to the First Year Engineering Office, or the FYEO module. My name is Ayush. The goal of this module is to connect you with a resource solely dedicated to the success of first year engineering students. That's right, a whole team of professionals, counselors, and trained staff at your disposition to answer all your questions and deal with your concerns. Many of the services can even be accessed remotely. We're in the engineering building on our way to the FYEO right now. Right across from the third floor elevators is where you'll find the first year engineering office. The FYEO serves as a beneficial source of excellent services that you would need during your first year of engineering at Ryerson. This is usually where students come to meet with representatives one on one. A core team that you would have met during the FYEO's pre-orientation and post-orientation events are the First Year Ambassadors or FYAs. The FYAs are dedicated to making your transition to life at Ryerson much easier. You can meet them through the FYEO's pre-orientation, orientation and post-orientation programs or you can visit the FYEO website. You're probably wondering what these programs are. These are valuable opportunities which allow you to learn more about the social and academic aspects of university, gain valuable leadership skills, gain support from upper year students, and meet peers with similar interests. You will come to know more about these events through their social media and your Ryerson email throughout your first year. Transitioning to university can be very difficult and all of us at Ryerson understand that. For this, the FYEO has created a handbook which you would need during your first year. Some areas I recommend you visit are the Meet to the Team, Ryerson Essentials and Significant Dates. You would likely need it during your entire year, so keep it bookmarked for quick access. I also encourage you to engage with your classmates and professors, upper year students and the larger Ryerson community. In your first year, you have the opportunity to change your plan or declare it if you haven't done so within engineering. This can be done by submitting a plan change form to the first year engineering office. Note, this form can be only used to change your concentration within your current engineering program. For example, from engineering mechanical plan to engineering electrical plan. Applications vary depending on available space, your grades, and academic standing. If you have any questions regarding the plan change form or the plan change process, the FYEO is more than happy to help you through it. From the academics and technical modules, you have learned about course selection and course enrollment. For guidance regarding course selection and course enrollment, the FYEO is here to help you. They've got even their own engineering academic counselors to help you through this process. As a Ryerson student, you have an option to pursue optional minors and specializations beyond your core engineering program. For this, their office is here to guide you through it as it can be tricky to find the right balance of courses. While in your first year, the first year engineering office is your go-to if you have questions regarding your schedule, academic standing, and course enrollment. Beyond that, each engineering discipline starts to get specific. So, once you complete all your first year engineering courses, you'll be promoted and transferred to your specific program department, and they will take the role of the FYEO until your graduation. For now, I invite you to first year events, to meet with the FYAs, and attend future study halls.
Hey everyone, my name is Gianluca, and together with Steven, I'll be introducing you to the oldest student society on campus, the Ryerson Engineering Student Society, proudly known as RES. RES is the umbrella organization for a majority of the student groups featured on Ready, but in total 50 student groups on campus, the most in any faculty. Think of RES as your student hub for all things engineering. Many of RES's key pillars can be found in the Ready modules. These include academics, extracurriculars, community outreach, and faculty relations. Our core group consists of 16 people, 8 executives and 8 directors. Each one of our executives fulfills a certain role within our community. This ensures that both the rest and our student groups are at the highest success. This is done with the help of our 8 directors, one representing each discipline. We also have commissioners. These are specialized roles such as equity and community inclusion. Don't forget about all our committees. How could I forget? Our committees are the reason why we're the best student society on campus. And if you're wondering how to join a committee, sit tight and I'll get to that very soon. Rest is with you from orientation week all the way to your iron ring ceremony. That's where you get your fancy ring. Along the way, you're going to benefit from many of our key services and take part in a variety of events. You ready? Yeah, I mean, I guess. First is orientation week. Halloween night. Rice and engine competition. Night of recognition. 30 days of rest. Crash courses. For midterms and finals. Featuring rest breakfast. Mm. Valentine's Day. Then there's National Engineering Month. Featuring Buck Push. And then there's Billy Ball. All ending in your Iron Ring Ceremony. REST is constantly evolving to meet the needs of our students. READY is a perfect example of that. REST is in close communication with the President of the University, the Dean of Engineering, and our core community partners all can be seen in the community module. This puts us at a unique position to be your voice at a discussion table. Want to showcase your Ryerson Engineering pride? Well, REST can help you with that as well. In our office, you can find everything from patches to stickers to sweaters and scarves. Whatever it may be you're looking for, we probably have it. Need to print your assignment but stuck on a student budget? REST can also help you with that. Just print from anywhere on campus and come pick it up from our office. We also have the cheapest printing rates on campus. Just like everyone in Ready, you too are a member of REST. Your membership will last you your entire undergraduate engineering career. And don't worry, you're automatically a member the moment you become an engineering student. But wait, there's more. You can be a part of the REST team in first year by joining the first year engineering board. I was a member of the first year engineering board and the memories and experience I gained will last me forever. If the first year engineering board isn't for you, don't worry. There are plenty of other ways you can get involved. You can start by joining our committees and learning from our skilled executives, or if you're really up for it, you can be the chair at some of our largest events, such as orientation, the Rice Engineering Competition, National Engineering Month, or United Recognition. Honestly, there are so many ways to get involved with REST. The best way to find out is to read our newsletter curated by our DP Communications. Additionally, our social media is always up to date with the latest services and events, so follow us at at Ryerson Engineer. I hope you enjoyed everything that Ready has to offer. Sadly, this is the end of the Ready video experience, but it's also the beginning of your own personal experience here at Ryerson. Our modules were created to give you a small taste of what Ryerson Engineering has to offer. What's even more amazing is there's so many more experiences and opportunities for you to explore on your own. I cannot stress enough the importance of academics, but also building and growing our community. For all those who created Ready, I'd like to say thank you. From the Ready team to our community partners, faculty and staff, your hard work and tireless effort will not go unnoticed. I invite all of you watching Ready to visit our website to experience all that our community has created for you. At Ryerson Engineering, we believe the future is ours by design. That is why we have never stopped innovating. As engineering students, we hope to build a future that is cleaner, smarter, and more inviting. Together, we will tackle society's greatest challenges. I'm so excited to see what you all are capable of in the future, and I wish you all the best in your undergraduate engineering career.